Christine, thank you so much. Thanks, Harry. Now here's Eric. Harry, thanks. Over the weekend, the mercury dropped like a stone here in the east, but not necessarily is it a bad thing. It's actually encouraging many of us to reach for that fall wardrobe or maybe start to put it together. Amy Goodman is senior editor of All You Magazine, joining us this morning with some affordable fall fashions straight from the one runway. Always good to have you in with us because you always have these great tips and finds for us. It can be tough, though, when you look at the runway video and the looks for fall and you think, A, how do I afford that, and B, who really wears that? Well, you can interpret runway looks to be what I call the real way. And at All You Magazine, we are dedicated to celebrating real women in a way that you can be on trend, but also on budget, so you don't feel like you're bursting your budget. And there's so many different ways that you can really wear these looks so that you can pull them out of your closet and really get them on you. And so, so. you don't look too trendy like you're trying too hard, which exactly. is important to you. You want to still feel like yourself. So you've sure. broken it down into five of the hottest looks for fall. And the yeah. first one you have for us is military-inspired. We've seen a little bit over the last few seasons. Of course, well, it, whether it's Mark by Mark Jacobs or Fendi, this is a very kind of uniformed look, double-breasted, lots of military influences with buttons and zippers and a lot of army green. But here on Miranda, we're going for a softer flare with her. The ASOS jacket is a cardigan jacket that is military inspired. Underneath that, we have a nice Ann Taylor loft striped shirt. You may actually have a striped shirt from summer that you can repurpose for this look. Believe it or not, the necklace is attached which is an added oh, bonus wow. for $45. A very fitted jean by Levi for $22. Oh. And we finish it out with flats. These are by Payless. Now, she could easily wear the flats, of course, with the cropped pants. Yep. But you can switch out some neutral or nude pumps and make this a look from daytime to evening. This is really cute, too, because you think military-inspired and you start to think cargos, sure. which is not necessarily it. And so this is really nice, especially with the Navy, a different take on it. Oh, certainly. And she could even switch in some trousers and make it really workplace-appropriate as well. So there you go. OK, so our first look, <laughs> military inspired up next animal prints and I feel like this is the one I've really been hearing about the most this mm -hmm. fall yes and the one that's roaring the loudest is the leopard from the animal kingdom leopard print on everything from jackets to dresses blouses and skirt separates even accessories like purses and pumps but here we have Michelle she is a hot mama of four kids Ooh. and this is what we're talking about really wearable the limited leopard print top and then we have a fabulous uh, ruffled cardigan from Marshalls for $25 wow. A nice fitted uh, pencil skirt from TJ Maxx for 40 And don't forget those red hot heels. These are from Jessica Simpson. The platform pump is a very feminine way to wear this fall. And doing a red accented accessory against a neutral based mm -hmm. outfit is also a red hot trend. We like that. And I love that this animal print is doable for so many women. You know, you yes. can wear this to work. You can, you can feel like you're hip, but without going overboard. It looks great. And it's super flattering on her. It is. <laughs> and you're a mom of four. Boy, you are know, one amazing. One amazing lady. Another really hot trend this fall is menswear. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't have to feel like you're wearing your, your husband's suit. No, and every fall we do see a return to menswear. It's kind of like it's siren call in the fall. But this season it's really about the head to toe look for women suiting. Nipped at the waist blazers and pants that are either flared or fitted depending on what suits you. And so here on Lauren, a pinstriped blazer and pantsuit from Spiegel. That's $130. Look for, for the those, entire suit? For the entire wow. suit. Now, the corseted top is by XOXO for $44, mm -hmm. and it has like a lace overlay on it. You want to mix those textures, like the pinstripe with the lace. That is something that you want to play with this season. Mm -hmm. um, not to miss are those Oxford Booty Platform Pumps from Macy's. This is where we see the menswear trend even affect to the footwear. And if there is an it moment this season for shoes, this is it with the Oxford okay. Pump. Okay, so ladies, take note of those shoes. Yes. And uh, top handled bag from Carlos by Carlos Santana, adding a bit of feminine flair to an mm. otherwise very much menswear inspired look. I like it. Up next, something that always feels like fall to me, a chunky knit. But this can be really difficult for women to wear. Sure. And it seems like it's getting chunkier and bigger every season. Uh, we saw it as sweater coats and really, really big knits in terms of the knit itself. But here we have Emma, and she's doing everything right because we took that chunky knit from the limited, we cinched it at the waist with a belt. And an awe moment for the all, all you editors is this amazing Charlotte Russe top for $20. The ever popular jegging this season, the jeans plus the legging right. from Urban Outfitters, another $20. And then Victoria's Secret booties with tassels. So those are fun ankle booties, a bit of heel there, but this is a great casual to weekend and look. And so just in terms of that chunking, what do we need to look for? I mean, you have it cinched at the waist here. Are there any other rules that we should go by? That if it's a lot of volume on top, then you want to go slim on slim the bottom, on which we are doing right with here. With the jeggings, mm -hmm. for example. Okay, and lastly, faux fur. 
I feel like it's everywhere. I've even seen it in kids' clothes. Yes, and the designers have really embraced it this season, whether it is uh, Chanel, whether it's Fendi, Lan Van, everyone seemed to have it on the runway. Fofor is very luxurious but affordable, and Selwa is wearing what I call the most amazing moment here. It's $30 from TJ Maxx. Such a great savings for this $30? Fofor. And when you talk about for Fofor, it's great for the environment, it's animal friendly, it's really fantastic. Then a nice thin underlay from the loft. You may already have a ruffled blouse you can use from your closet, um, American Eagle pants, and to finish it off, Fiona booties here that are so um, really cute, kind of round off the look, again for $30 from Payless. The booties are great, and those, and it looks sort of like, I mean, these almost look like leggings, but they're not, but that really fitted cargo pant that we saw a lot of over the spring, you can keep that going then for the fall. Yes, it's about fantastic style, value, using things that you may already have in your closet, and you can really sport fall fashion in a fabulous way. It's great stuff. Amy Goodman, always love having you here. Thanks for coming in. Thanks. And for more on these fashions, just log on to our website at earlyshow.cbsnews.com. Now here's Maggie. From pregnancy and motherhood to the rocky road of marriage, best-selling author Jenny McCarthy is known for her no-holds-barred outlook on life. She takes on relationships in her...